I just wanted to do this uh, video to demonstrate how easy it was um, to take this area apart in case you have a jam um, that you can't get it to um, uh, feed out of. Uh, so first, um, you'll have to take this little plastic piece off that's right here. Right, and you've got uh, four bolts here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So usually I'll, you can push it out of the way uh, so you can get your uh, uh, Allen wrench in there. All right, now, um, just to note, there are uh, a long screw down in the bottom. Another long screw down here. It's another bottom. And then um, I hear at the top are two long uh, short screws. So you definitely don't want to get them mixed up when you put them back together. Right. And it kind of surprised me at first because this front piece that is all metal doesn't uh, is uh, doesn't come off. It's the, it comes off the back here, just like this. And then of course you still have your uh, your wires and stuff connected. So you have um, uh, here's your gear down here that uh, that feeds your tubing through now. You may need to have to take this piece off right here. So you'll need another, uh, another wrench here. It's not the same. Yes, it is. It's the same size as the uh, the other ones. Uh, so you'll need to hold it, hold it slightly right here. That spring will uh, uh, pop out. <laughs> you don't want to lose the spring. So you can. Uh, uh, so it is under tension. So you need to be careful as you're unscrewing it. So don't blow your screw, throw your screw off here. All right. Very simple. The screw comes off and it actually, uh, this piece looks like it's one whole piece, but it's actually two pieces. Sorry for the uh, hands being in the way. So you have this little piece here. Uh, with a little roller here um, and then your spring goes right there and you looks like you've got a, uh, the feeder motor here uh, with your gear on it it does have an allen wrench I did have this uh, gear right here pop out um, uh, there's an allen wrench screw head that holds that onto the shaft so you know eventually it is going to come loose so um, you'll have to take this part off in order to get to that Allen wrench to screw it back in. So that is exactly why I wanted to do this video. So let me get uh, let me get the camera here uh, to um, kind of show you uh, what everything looks like a little bit closer. All right, there is your uh, motor and your gear there. It's with the shaky video. Um, and then this piece is just, uh, uh, this is the part that connects the, um, connects to the back to the bottom controller and stuff. Uh, but to me, it looks like this motor, it looks like all the motors are pretty much the same. So you should be, um, uh, I don't know if that's a fact, but they look pretty much the same. Um, but anyways, uh, that's what the back looks like. And if you'll notice, um, if you'll notice right, let's see here so I can find it. Right here is where your filament actually goes in. No, no I'm sorry. Right here is where your filament goes in uh, to the extruder or where the heating element is and stuff. So I haven't took the rest of it apart. Um, I'm going to wait to the time when I have to do that, and I'll probably release another video on that. Um, but um, so there's nothing else but a big metal plate there that all of it attaches on. 
Uh, mainly, I wanted to do this so people wouldn't be scared to, because uh, you're eventually going to have to take this apart to get to the jam. Uh, kind of look at that and see if we can see that, that hex screw back there. Mm. Yeah. See that little screw there that holds it in right there. All right. So I did want to show one thing, and that is um, to put it back, uh, put the uh, the spring uh, loaded thing back on. It's not too difficult. Maybe the video will catch it. All right, so. Um, move that video up just a hair here. All right, so. When you get ready to put the back on, uh, especially don't forget to put your your spring back, and then you will need to. Uh, there's there's two little things that uh, hold the screw in there. You'll have to squeeze this in here to hold it tight in order to line that screw back up. See, it's not as long as you hold hold just a little bit of pressure on it. It's not hard to put it back in there, and then screw it back down tight. And there you're back uh, to everything. So, all right. Well, that was just to show how to take the parts of uh, take the top part uh, apart. So, to help you get a jam out. So thank you for joining my channel, and I uh, hope you have a wonderful day.